Uh, hi, uh, Jasna, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Shirley, Shirley Chen, and uh, I'm a social professor in languages and cultures, uh, teaching Chinese studies. So Chinese studies, that probably involves language and culture. So which units are you currently teaching? Uh, that's uh, exactly right. Uh, Chinese studies is a, a multidisciplinary um, subject. Uh, so we are teaching uh, language and culture, and uh, I, I've been teaching uh, both and uh, more than a classical literature and philosophy. And uh, at the moment, I also am involved uh, in a, a few other units, uh, for example, language in use um, and uh, globalizing cultures and international studies project. Mm. But you also do research, right? Not just people. Yes. Yes, and that's uh, one of my uh, uh, great passions. And uh, I'm doing uh, Chinese philosophy, Chinese literature, and uh, uh, textual analysis. Um, at the moment, I'm uh, focusing on a new project. Um, it's uh, language and philosophy of uh, crisis in ancient China. That sounds really interesting. But tell me, going back to your teaching, um, what are students, or what are especially beginners maybe, or students in general, what do you find most difficult to master in Chinese? It looks to me as a quite kind of complicated language. So is it really? Oh, that's a good question. Um, actually, a lot of people thought uh, Chinese language is, is difficult. It is a different language, yeah. Uh, we write Chinese characters, uh, which is very different from English. Uh, but uh, it is not a, a very difficult language and a lot of our students and even, you know, um, the former Prime Minister Kevin Watt uh, would prove that, um, you know, you, you can uh, learn the language and speak the language very well. Okay, so when speaking about languages, but why do you think um, learning languages matters in 21st century? I mean, we do mm. have Google Translate and all these apps. Does it really matter still to, to know languages? What do you think? Um, yes, uh, a lot of people probably think, well, uh, we can do a lot of things uh, through AI and uh, technology, uh, but as uh, humans, uh, we need human interactions, right? And uh, languages and cultures are very important to our students and to, um, to the future of this country. Um, and in fact, uh, art and humanities are extremely important uh, to us when we are facing more challenges in, in the 21st century and um, studying humanities will equip our students, um, you know, with all these very important and sought after skills uh, like critical thinking, problem solving, effective communication and creativity. And all of these uh, cannot be replaced by, you know, robots or uh, mm -hmm. AI. And um, I, I really um, am very proud and uh, enjoying what we are doing, that is to disseminate this knowledge and skills um, to our students and the general public um, in languages and skills. Mm, so learning a language brings you multiple skills that can be beneficial in in everyday life and and can't be replaced like you say but surely we've been in this lockdown now for forever feels like forever we are teaching online again um how is it for you to to teach online or in general how are you coping during lockdown um yes we have to do most of the teaching and research online it is challenging i have to say and I miss teaching the students on campus where we can have face-to-face -face interaction. And as we just said, you know, uh, uh, human interactions are, are just so important. And uh, we don't have to worry about Zoom dropping out when the internet becomes unstable. And um, I miss working in my office and the beautiful Macquarie campus and the arts precinct. Um, and also the intellectual vibes there. And when, when you see colleagues and students around, um, and uh, so we, we are coping, but uh, I, I very much uh, look forward uh, when everything's, um, you know, going back to normal. And uh, so, um, yeah, it is a very different uh, life 
uh, at the moment. Uh, but on the other hand, um, it allows me to spend more time with my family. <laughs> Surely, maybe kind of um, a, a piece of advice for everyone in lockdown, for students, colleagues, friends. Yes, um, I suppose we, we just um, enjoy the time being at home with your loved ones. Um, do something fun together, um, even learn a language and join us for a course. Um, or improve skills such as cooking, baking, or just spend some relaxing time in a garden. I didn't realize, you know, uh, pottering around the garden could give you so much joy and peace. And so, you know, uh, spend a bit of time in a garden, in the sun, um, is, is one of my uh, favorite pastimes at the moment. <laughs> and of course, stay fit and healthy. That's most important. So to end this interview, you said that Chinese was not difficult. So if I wanted to thank you now in Chinese, what would I say? Mm. Uh, uh, wish everyone health and happiness. Okay, that's <laughs> too complicated for me to repeat. How about a simple thank you that I can maybe copy now? Mm. Shishi? Thank you, Shirley. It was a pleasure. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.